So what happens to real estate prices uh, in an inflationary environment? Um, and what other type of real estate assets besides residential protects you against um, you know, downturns? Everybody's got a different perspective. And remember, I want to put this disclaimer out there. This is not financial advice. But how I see it is, if you look at any market, any downturn, real estate has performed well. The biggest thing that you always see with real estate is real estate's a great investment. The only way to lose money in real estate is if you can't hold long term. The people who, that's why they call it specs, like flipping houses, um, wholesaling, those type of people, even building spec homes, it's a speculative investment. So it's a speculation. That means I'm guessing on what I can sell it for in a short time period. But if you have a long term thought process, you will never lose money in real estate. It will always go up over time. Now, will there be some dips? Yes, but it will always go up over time. So I always say, remember, when interest rates are up, bonds are up, too. So bonds is a good, safe investment for people to look into. The stock market is always going to be volatile. So just know the stock market, crypto, NFTs, that stuff's very volatile. So you don't want to put all of your investment into that. You want to get tangible assets. And like I'm focused on in the course, is this, this, is, this is how simple it is. Billion dollar real estate agent is the first level. It's five levels, I'm gonna teach you guys how to scale your business and grow. And then we're taking that income and we're gonna go buy cash flowing real estate assets. And then you wanna buy cash flowing, you know, cash flowing businesses. So Viet, what I would tell you is to buy a business that is an essential business that's cash flowing. It could be a car wash, it can be a laundromat, it can be, I'm just giving ideas, it can be whatever, a plumbing business, whatever. Essential businesses will not go anywhere and those are the businesses you wanna buy. So buy uh, in income producing assets and cash flowing businesses.